Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue No. 24. Seasons in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 1, Overview of Canada from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 1.5. The Seasons. 1.6. Activities for each season. 1.7. Ready for winter. In this dialogue, Obasi talks to his next-door neighbor. The Canadian neighbor explains the seasons in Canada, activities that Canadians enjoy, and what to expect in the winter. Obasi is outside the front door of his home. His neighbor is outside too. They start a conversation. Hi, neighbor. How is it going? How are you settling in Canada? Hello. It has been going well so far. Thanks. But I can feel that it has gotten very cold in my apartment. It is November, and in Canada, colder weather is normal at this time of year. It is totally new for me, because where I come from, it is sunny and warm year-round. Yeah, it will take some time to adjust to having four different seasons. In Canada, it can be very hot during the summer, even over 33 degrees Celsius. And then, in the winter, the temperature can go down to minus 20 degrees. Wow, that is a huge range. How do you deal with such drastic temperature changes? Thankfully, the shifts happen gradually over the course of the year. So, in the summer, between June and August, temperatures are cool to extremely hot. Days have many hours of sunlight. Many people in Canada spend time outdoors. Yes, I am familiar with the summer. What about when it gets colder? Things start to cool off in autumn between September and November, and there are less hours of sunlight each day. Leaves on some trees change into bright colors before they fall to the ground. People also harvest many fruits and vegetables during autumn. Things like pumpkin and apple picking can be a fun activity to do with friends or family. Autumn is nice so far. Those would be fun activities to do with my family. In December, winter comes. It gets cold and snow falls. Animals migrate or will go into their holes and sleep for the winter, and most plants will freeze until they come back in the spring. It will be nice to have different seasons throughout the year. I am mostly worried about the winter, as I have not experienced it. It does get very cold in many places in the winter. How cold is very cold exactly? Well, it is common for it to get below minus 10 degrees Celsius even during the day. Much of Canada has snow, ice, and cold winds during the winter. Days have the least hours of sunlight. It is also the longest season. There must be something fun people do in the winter. There are lots of ways to make winter fun. We do activities on the ice and snow like skiing, sledding down hills, snowshoeing, and ice skating on ponds and lakes where the water has frozen over. That all sounds fun. Actually, a lot of these activities have existed in Canada for a very long time and were indigenous inventions, like snowshoes which were made to walk on top of snow without sinking, and sleds, which were made for sliding on the snow. Indigenous peoples knew for centuries how to deal with the winters, 
and taught the European settlers how to survive in this cold environment. This is all so new to me. I hope I will be able to adjust to the cold weather. Is there anything I should prepare for the winter? There are some good ways to prepare for winter. To start, you will need to dress warmly. Would a winter coat be enough? You and your family will definitely need good winter coats. Underneath that, we wear layers of shirts and sweaters to keep warm. The same thing goes for our lower body. Sometimes we wear long underwear or thermal leggings under our pants. I see. If I go hiking in the snow with my family, what else would I need? When we go out into the snow, we also wear waterproof snow pants. For our feet, we put on warm socks and a sturdy pair of boots. And we cover our hands with warm mittens or gloves. Lastly, you need a scarf around your neck and a warm knitted hat, which we call a toque. With all that, you will be ready to take on Canadian winter. That sounds like a lot to wear. It is, but only for a few months. Eventually, spring arrives. The snow and ice begin to melt and plants begin growing. Temperatures are usually cold to cool. In early springtime, one of the things you can do is visit a sugar shack where you can see maple sap being boiled into syrup. Your children will be so excited. We do not have to wear as many layers of clothing. And then, before you know it, it will be warm summer weather again. Ah, uh, yes. I have always wondered about maple syrup. I have yet to try it. The process sounds very interesting. I would love to take my family and see it together. Maple trees produce sap in spring, which is then boiled to make a sweet syrup. There is nothing like good maple syrup on pancakes for breakfast. After talking to you, I am looking forward to winter. Sledding with my family sounds like it will be fun. It is. If you get outside, winter can be a very fun time for you and your family. End of Dialogue Unit